Richard Norman is Australia's oldest new father at 85. He's just welcomed a beautiful baby girl, Arabella, into the world with his second wife, Cherie. And the proudest punch father who hails from the Gold Coast joins us live in the studio right now. Good afternoon to you, Richard. Hello, hello. Congratulations, mate. Thank you. How does it feel here. to be... That's all right, just relax. Um, how is it to be a, a first-time father at the ripe old age of uh -huh. 85? Well, it's exciting, but um, I'm proud. I'm proud. I did a good job. How's she doing? How's little Arabella? Arabella's good. She's cute. She poos a lot. Is she keeping you up at night? Well, I, at 85, I'm up a lot anyway. <laughs> so <laughs> we're both up in the toilet at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> busy household, busy household. Man, it's got to be said. Um, what, what do you say to the critics who think that 85 is, is too old to be having babies? Oh. There's a, a lot of people say that, but I suppose my grandpappy used to say that people should keep their own business in their own pants. <laughs> so <laughs> I think that's important. It's not their business if I'm a good dad. Okay. I think I'm a good dad. And the, and the baby was conceived naturally? Tom, none that's of your business. A <laughs> <laughs> that's a bit embarrassing. Oh, I, I don't yes. mean to. No? Yeah? Okay. You mean, did I do that? <laughs> yes. Yes. Are you asking me if I use Viagra? <laughs> Is that your next <laughs> No, no, it might be from one of the other hosts on the desk. I, I think what often happens is people ask the question about, we see that someone naturally conceived, you know, the, we had articles in our briefing notes about the, the oldest mother and, and whether she naturally conceived, because I think for a lot of people out there, they're concerned that they might have missed their chance of being a parent. Yeah. We didn't set out to do that. But it happened. So it was... And she's beautiful. Yeah, amazing. Now tell us ab about your wife, Cherie. How is she taking motherhood? She's a natural. She's like me. She's a natural. <laughs> but she's, um, she's very clever. How did you guys meet? Well, my friend uh, Jack was uh, showing me how to buy Viagra from Asia <laughs> <laughs> on the computer. On the computer. And then a picture popped up of a beautiful girl. Uh -huh. And then when you move the arrow over the photograph, it turned into a film. Um, uh, and she was dancing. Know, so, so you, I'm just wondering about you. you were, you're, you're having a relation that works here at Channel 7. Mm. Do you have any other association with Channel 7? No, I watch it sometimes. Do you, are you <laughs> the favourite person? The morning mm. show? Yeah, perhaps. What do you mean? Do you like to know Larry Andrews? What do you mean? Larry why did I get I to read we, this story? I think we got it all at the same time, didn't right. we? Oh, I love it. What? An 85 year old man can't have a 31 year old wife? Are you going? A proto Russian glamour model? Absolutely not. Yeah, of course. This is great. Oh, and the reason he couldn't take his glasses off is uh, he's got a sty. <laughs> take your glasses off now. Let's take have your glasses off. Look at this. Richard? Oh! <laughs> And my baby. <laughs> and Viagra. <laughs> started to concern me was not when you actually worked, walked into oh. the set, but one of the questions was you, you ran a very successful lawn mowing business on the Gold Coast <laughs> and your wife wants to continue glamour modelling. How do you feel about that? <laughs> you know, I hate shows where they do their research. <laughs> Stupid show. I really, it, I, it's the flanky skin that got me. I was oh. starting to freak out a little bit about that. Oh, I was having moments, I have to say, of thinking, well, you found me this attractive. is the highlight of my career. <laughs> <laughs> right now, right before our very eyes. Well, it was lovely, lovely to have you on the show. Looking well. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't. <laughs> I can't wait now. to get home to Sylvie. Yeah. <laughs> I hope my wife's not watching this. She oh, I, well, I bet uh, she couldn't wait. She can't wait for you to get home either. I think she's going to be watching at home. Does Sylvie so know your, about Sherry? That's the thing. Your skin's coming off if you would yeah. mind. <laughs> Nice one. All right, stick around, everybody. We've got more. No more questions. Right after this. <laughs>